Hello, Paul Carr here. This is the first video for Euphonium, Grade 3, playing the James Bond theme. Please make sure you have your music open and ready. First of all, we need to check that your instrument is in tune with this piano. I'm going to play the note on the piano, which should sound the same as your note C. Play at the same time as the piano and listen to check that the note sounds the same. How's that sounding? Here it is once again. Okay, let's have a look at the music. The piece doesn't have a piano introduction. We both start playing at the same time. So I'm going to count to four, that's one whole bar, so that we start together. Remember to breathe in on beat four so that you're ready to play exactly on beat one of the first bar. Let's try that, just your first note. One, two, three, four. Okay, right, once we start, the piano part plays a chord with your notes on beats one and three of the first few bars and a low bass note between your notes on beats two and four. Like that. So let's play the first four bars together now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. vital to keep that steady so that the next section isn't too fast. From bar five I have got this pattern in the piano. And so on. And that fits together with your part like this. Again it's important to keep it steady so now let's play from the start and see if we can get through to bar 12. Here we go. One, two, three, breathe. Okay, how's that? Now, bar 13 to 17 are the same as the opening, but just so you know, the piano part is the other way up. You get a low note on beats one and three with you, and the chord is in between. Let's just check that. This is bar 13, after four. One, two, three, four. Bar 17 after that, you've got the famous Bond tune. The piano has got four main beats in every bar in the left hand, so if you listen to that, that'll help you to keep in time. And it's really important that when you have a long note, a held note, like in bar 20 and 24, that you keep counting very carefully because the piano has got the other theme while you hold that note. Now from bar 25, the piano also plays the tune with you. So again, we've got to make sure that we're together. And normally, as the accompanist, I'd follow you. But for this video, I can't hear you. So we'll just have to count very carefully to stay together. Let's play now from bar 13. After four. One, two, three, go.
on those last two bars, 29 and 30. They're tricky to count. This is bar 29 and 30. You've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Remember, when you've done that, it goes straight back to the beginning and we do it all again. So let's just cover that again from bar 25 to make sure that the join back to the beginning is okay. Bar 25, after four, one, two, three, four. On the second time through, we jump to the coda, that's the last two bars, when we get to the end of bar 16, where it says to coda. For you, the coda is actually just one held note, but it's important that you count it carefully, that's eight beats altogether, so that I can fit this in. Remember, you can repeat this video to be sure that you know what you're doing with all those tricky corners. And then when you're ready, I'll see you in the next video for a complete performance.